Jonathan here. Welcome to the eighth video in the Smart Running series. Hopefully you've been enjoying these videos, different topics. I'm super excited today to talk about race day strategy. Okay, that might sound a little too serious. It's all good. Just have a general strategy. I'll talk through different ways of doing that. One way is to decide that you're going to do a certain time or you're going to try to do a certain time in the race. But I would invite you to have three different times. So your one time is you feel awesome, right? You feel good. So you can decide race day morning, obviously, right? It's like, oh, I feel good. You're well rested. You're in a good real mental space. All right, I'm going to go for it today. Maybe you're doing a 5K and you've decided that you are going to try to break, I don't know, 40 minutes, right? And that's your like, I feel awesome time goal. If that happens, great. Maybe you have a middle goal, right? I feel pretty good. Not terrible, but not great. What am I gonna shoot for? Okay, I'm gonna go for a 42 minutes. And then my, I'm really having an off day, that might be I'm just gonna finish. Or if you're really stuck on the time type thing, when 45 minutes, I'm gonna try to finish this thing. Okay, that's kind of a race day strategy. If you're, if you're someone though that freaks out about times, blow it off, forget about it. Don't even have a time. When I talk about race day strategy, plan in advance how you want to feel on that day. I'm not talking visualization, which is one of the other videos we're going to cover. I'm just talking, how do you want to feel? How do you want to move? Do you want to take in the experience? A lot of people in the running community, they don't remember their races because they're so busy racing them that they miss it. That's something I'm very proud of with the Boston Marathons. I always feel like I have the experience because I'm fully present. That can be part of your race day strategy. The key is to take what you have on the day of the race and do the best you can. Ideally, it's race day, right? You're feeling good, as I mentioned earlier, and it's like, oh yeah, everything's clicking, this is great. More than likely though, sometimes on those race days, that's just not happening. But if you can shift your focus to the gift of being out there, into the experience, and that a year, five, 10 years from now, you're not gonna remember your 5K time, or your half marathon, or your marathon, who cares? You remember the experience. Your race day strategy is something you should think about in advance, so that most importantly, you can win the mental parts which is the key part of your race, or really, I don't really love the, I don't like the term race, I love the term journey, of your journey, your 5K journey, or your 10K journey, your half marathon journey, or your marathon journey, okay? All right, keep rocking, make sure to be joining me on the Wednesday one, uh, running slash walking interval workout, and keep up the great work.